does a rainbow black man with a rainbow black man receive less lashes than a rainbow black man with a that's disgusting i'm not even going that's disgusting that's abs i'm not even going to not nah. caucasian women if they built like black women they walk by me a couple of times to make sure that i see they got a big butt it happened today talk to me my brother you done already climbed inside that jar of mayonnaise what kind of mayonnaise was it was it miracle whip she got miracle whip between those thighs or do she got helmets was it miracle whips was it helmets or do she got that vegan aids keep mignon keep mignon what's good queen you gotta go where you going keep mignon where you going queen where you going black people say i ain't black because i only got one parent okay let me explain something any negro telling you they not black because they only have one black parent they are are looking for membership in the Caucasian race. So to any mixed race African who, who harbors this fancy dream of being accepted by Caucasians when you have a black parent, you can forget it. Let, let me say this again. I'm talking to my mixed race Africans right now. The question was, was what do you say to black people who who say I'm not black because I have only one black parent. I say, good luck with your membership application into the Caucasian race. That's what I say. I say, good luck with your membership application into the Caucasian race. That's what I say. If you think you're going to get a membership card in the Neanderthal nation and you have a black mother, if you think you're going to get a membership card in Neanderthal Nation and you have a black father, I think you might have you might have bumped your damn head. You might have bumped your damn head. Oh, they'll use you. They will use you against other Africans. And when they done using you, guess what they're going to do? When they done using you, my mixed race Africans, guess what they're going to do? When they done using you, stop being fresh, my ladies. Stop being fresh. You cannot come sit on me, queen. Stop. Stop. You can come dance with me at Nandy's tonight. You can't come sit on me right now. Okay. This is, we 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 not on that. We, we revolutionary. We we folk. You can't come sit on me, ladies. No, we ain't gonna do that. I don't even know how much you weigh. I don't even know how much you weigh. I don't even know how much you weigh. How you gonna sit on me? I don't even know how much you weigh. But anyway, anyway, to my mixed race Africans, to my mixed race Africans. If you th think you're going to get an application to Neanderthal Nation because you only have one black parent, I can guarantee you your ap application into the Neanderthal Nation will be declined. They do not accept anybody as Caucasian who has an African parent. I don't care how hazel your eyes are. I don't care how pale your skin, how straight your hair. Once they find out you have an African parent, your membership in Neanderthal Nation will be voided. It will be voided. Stop being fresh, ladies. Ladies, stop being fresh. You can't, can't sit on me because I don't know how much you weigh. But anyway, brothers and sisters, have you hit the cash app today? Has anybody on? On here, hit the cash app today. Dollar sign FD is interracial marriage less worse, specifically if a black man with a snow bunny plan on not having children. Okay, let me answer that ridiculous question. Let me the qu question on the Instagram feed was if a bu bunny hopper marries a bunny and does not have children, is that a little more acceptable? No, it's not. Because although you didn't give her a baby, although you didn't give her a baby, although you didn't give her a baby, you gave her your bank account, you gave her your retirement, you gave her your livelihood, you gave her your melanin, you gave her our ancestors. The fact that you didn't have a child doesn't mean anything. She still economically raped your ass. See, she bent you over financially, my brother. She bent you over 
financially, my brother. She economically raped your soft ass. So no, it is no better. It is no better. Listen. You want to be a brown bunny hopper, yellow bunny, red bunny, brown bunny. Listen, no bunnies unless you get one of chocolate bunnies, one of those sweet brown sugar bunnies, one of those honey butter almond bunnies. But get you one of those African lemonade bunnies. Get you one of them extra five thick in the thigh bunnies. I'm thinking about getting me a white bunny rabbit as a pet we're going to get a white bunny rabbit as a pet at fdmg we're going to get a white bunny rabbit as a pet what should we call her what should we call the white bunny rabbit that will be one of the pets at the frederick douglas marcus car i need a name what do we call her ladies we need a name for the white bunny rabbit she will only be allowed in my office she will only be allowed what are we going to call the white bunny rabbit? Do we just want to call her Snow Bunny? Can we just call her Snow Bunny? Can we just call her Snow Bunny? Call her Karen? Katie? Heather? What if she's a bunny, but she was adopted by a black family before she was one? What kind of questions are these, first of all? What kind of questions are these, first of all? What kind of questions? He said, what if she was adopted and raised by black folks? You don't understand white supremacy. You don't understand white supremacy. You don't understand. Let me explain something to you, my African brother. Let me explain something to you. Just because she was raised by Africans, her DNA is Caucasian. Her race is Caucasian. The minute she gets a chance to run back to her own, she's gone. Didn't our grandmothers raise entire generations of white children on the slave plantation? Didn't our grandmothers raise entire generations of white children for the slave master? Didn't our great, 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 great grandmothers raise entire generations of white children on the slave plantation? Did they stop being racist because they sucked a black breast? Did they stop being racist because they got milk from a black breast? Did they stop being racist because a black woman washed them and dressed them and fed them and did their hair? Did that stop them from being racist? So if that didn't stop them from being racist 200 years ago, 300 years ago, 400 years ago, what makes you think just because she was raised by Africans, she's no longer? a European, you must be out of your mind. I think you didn't already be climbed inside. I think you didn't already climbed inside that jar of mayonnaise. I think you, talk to me, my brother. You didn't already climbed inside that jar of mayonnaise. What kind of mayonnaise was it? Was it Miracle Whip? She got Miracle Whip between those thighs or do she got Hellman's? Was it Miracle Whips? Was it Hellman's or do she got that vegan -aids? Talk to me, my brother, my snow bunny hopping ass coon brother. Do she got helmets between those legs? Do she got miracle whip between those legs? Do she got the veganese between those legs, my brother? I think you done already went dipping in the snow. This Negro done already had a scoop of mayonnaise. He done lost his damn mind. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You know what's funny? When I be at the airport, right? When I be at the airport, the young Caucasian women, if they built like black women, they walk by me a couple of times to make sure I see they got a big butt. It happened today. It happened today at the airport. If she built like a sister and she know that's the King Kong of consciousness, she know that's the notorious RBG. She know that's the Prince of Pan-Africanism. She know that's the most relevant, requested and revolutionary black scholar on the face of the earth. If she built like a sister, she makes sure she walks by me. Sometimes they try to accidentally bump into me. They want me to see that they got the curves of the queen, but you ain't got that melanin. You ain't got that melanin. You ain't got that black girl magic. I don't care how big your ass is. 
You ain't got that black girl magic. No disrespect to the brown women. No disrespect to the yellow women. No disrespect to the red women. No disrespect to the white women. But you might have the curves of the black woman. You might have the hips of the black woman. You might have the voluptuousness of the black woman. But you ain't got that black girl magic. Oh, no, no. You ain't got that. Oh, no, no, no. You ain't got that black girl magic. You ain't got that. Trust me. You ain't got that melanin drip. You do not got that melanin drip. That melanin drip. That melanin drip is something special. And only the black woman got it. That mitochondrial DNA, it does something different. It does something different to that honeycomb. That African honeycomb, if you ain't got that African honeycomb, I don't care about the curves. Anybody could go get a BBL. But if you ain't got that African honeycomb, ladies, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry. Nothing compares to the African honeycomb. Once you have some African honey, you're going to leave that mayonnaise alone. Once you have some real African honey, you're going to leave that. Once you have some real melanin drip from a real melanin sister, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Let's go on a date. Who want to go on a date? Courtney want to go on a date? $500. It's all about business, Courtney. $500. Hit the cash app. Dollar sign FDMG, Courtney. Courtney, where your $500? Dollar sign FDMG or paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. What's my next question? What's my next question? Is Tarzan considered white? I'm not even going to answer that question. I'm not even going to answer that. It's Tarzan. I'm not even. Does a rainbow black man with a rainbow black man receive less lashes than a rainbow black man? But it's that's disgusting. I'm not even. Going, that's disgusting. That's abs. I'm not even going to. Nah. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. I'm not even going to touch that. That's disgusting. Does it bother you that black celebrities don't support you? I don't know if I. I would say don't support. I would say don't donate because most black celebrities know who I am. And many of them, they send me supportive text messages and I talk on the phone to some of them. I'm not upset though because I know most black celebrities are property of the white power structure. So why would I be upset? Patrick James, what up, King? Good to see you, brother. Sister Aaliyah, Aaliyah, is that a bunny or is that African lemonade? Aaliyah, I need your racial identity, Aaliyah. Aaliyah, are you African lemonade or are you bunny? Is that snow bunny DNA or is that African? Shania Flame, is that African? I need my lighter complexion Africans to verify their race. I, I live for Carrie. What's up, I live for Carrie? I know you African, baby. I know you African. Dr. Umar, do you have a wife? Not yet, but I do have one. I'm going to say yes. I got one wifey. I'm going to say I got one wifey. I'm looking for the second one. I'm looking for the second wifey. She might be at Nandy's tonight. She might be in Flint on Wednesday. She might be in Joliet on Friday. She might be in Guadalupe on Monday. She might be in Lower Marion next Thursday. She might be in Philly next Friday. Who going with me to Ghana? Gambia and Senegal. I will have the information for Ghana, Gambia, and Senegal in Flint, Michigan. I will have the information for Ghana, Gambia, and Senegal in Flint, Michigan. I will be going over the full travel itinerary in Flint, Michigan. 59th Memorial of Brother Malcolm. You don't need to see her. You either are her or you don't need to worry about her. That's it. That's the only options. You either are the wife or you don't need to worry about the wife. That's how that's going to work. Who going with me to Africa? 14 days and 14 nights. I need me a Kosa queen. I need me a Kosa. My oldest daughter, her middle name is Nkosa Zana. My oldest daughter, her middle name is Nkosa Zana. I love my Kosa, my Zulu, my Swazi. With my South African, South African queens is fine. Somali queens is fine. My Ghanaian queens is fine. My Nigerian queens, Lord have mercy. I remember I was in Nigeria and it was so many beautiful chocolate queens. I just stood still. I couldn't even walk. We was in downtown Lagos and it was just, it was melanin drip all through Lagos. I can't wait to get back to Lagos. 
I can't wait to get back to Lagos. I'm too, too young for you, Dr. Umar. Yes, you are. 35 and up. 35 and up, I might make a minor exception if you extra mature and extra serious. If you're in your 30s, but I prefer 35 and up. I prefer 35 and up. 35 and up. 